Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm going to talk about gear. Specifically, the Siconic Digilite F L328. So this is a flash meter and a light meter that's really small. And it's one of my favorite light meters now because I have some Minolta's, I have some bigger Siconics, but this does everything I need to do and this fits in my bag and this little case oh so well. So I got this at the camera show and a guy had it lying on the table in the case and I said, how much? He said 20 bucks and I said, wow, 20 bucks for a Siconic light meter. Hey, what's that scotch tape? He had scotch tape on the back of it. He said, I don't know. I said, oh, if it has scotch tape on it, is there something kind of falling off of it? Is the top going to fall off? He says, I don't know. I said, how about 10? He goes, okay, sure. So I put a little bit of gaffer tape on the back and now it's fine. And it's simple to use. It works and it's so convenient because some of the bigger ones I don't always want to carry in my bag. Everything's about size and whether you'll take it with you. And this one I'll take with me. And I like the simplicity of it. I like the turning head. I like the fact that it'll fit in my bag and it does. I put it in my camera bag where I don't usually carry a meter. I just use Sunny 16. But if I'm at a place where I'm like, I'm not really sure. I just want to just double check it. I just want to be absolutely right on because this one really matters. Look how small that is. And this was a great find because it was inexpensive. And certainly, again, maybe they only go for 30 bucks on eBay. I don't know. But I wasn't in the market for it so much as I like the small size. I remember when I worked at the newspaper, another photographer had that meter and it was a very handy one to have around. And I haven't seen it since. And then when I saw it for $10, what does $10 buy in photography gear? So sometimes, again, the camera show is the place for that because there are a lot of people out there with gear. It's a flea market for cameras. So it's a great, great place to go. If you're in the Denver area, it happens twice a year, every spring and every autumn, and it's a good one to get to, and you can find some good bargains there. And that, can, again, came from a photographer. It didn't come from a dealer. And if you're a photographer in Denver, you can go rent a table. But the idea is people who are selling their own stuff, you can often get things pretty much at a very low cost because they're trying to move things out and not bring it home. And people who are dealers are looking to get the maximum for it and need to cover their overhead and they're in business. So you get both at that show and certainly the photographers are the, are the ones to check out what they have, see if there's something you can use. All right, that's today's photography talk. A great little pocketable camera. It'll fit in my shirt pocket. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you have any... Uh, Thoughts on light meters. I'm a big fan of carrying them if they're small enough and I can use them unobtrusively without getting in the way of, oh, I missed a shot. I'm busy checking the light when I can just guess it with Sunny 16. But if you've used a light meter, what are your experiences? Do you find any great bargains like that? If you are enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. And if you can support, please hit the Patreon. And I appreciate that so much. And I thank everybody who already have supported. Thanks so much. We'll talk photography again soon.